Hi guys. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, based on where on the earth you are in. And um, so, welcome to another version of Ancient Collectibles. This is Chaudhary, and welcome to the show. Um, so today, uh, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, another ancient Indian coins, which is called Puskalavati coins. If you remember, in the last version, uh, I shared and talked about the Gandhara coins. And today uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about Puskalavati uh, Karsapana coins, uh, which was existed uh, in between 185 BC to 165 BC. So um, let's see the video and thanks for watching. If you like the video, please uh, share your comments and uh, you know uh, ring the bell icon so that uh, you will get notified uh, on the future videos. Thank you. okay so let's see the coins and i have two different um, pushkalavati coins that i'm going to share with you today so this is one of the coins um, as you can see uh, the uh, the elephant standing right and we have lion standing left let me show you okay so as you see here, um, the land standing left, uh, and uh, so Pushkalavati was the capital city of Gandhara in the present day Pakistan, and they began striking the coin in 2000, 200 BC before the annexation of Maurya thrones by the Sunga Empire in 8, 185 BC. Um, unlike the Maurya punchmark coins uh, that utilized multiple punches. These coins employed first a single punch on one side and then switched to a more western style double die method by about 180 BC. Um, and um, that coincided with the arrival of the Greeks from Bactria, capitalizing on the political turmoil on the time. And unlike the later uh, square coins of the Indo Greeks, these coins were impressively thick, being punched into molds and then stuck. So as you see here, um, these are pretty thick coins. Uh, you can see it, I think, in the video. And this is the other Puskalavati coin that I have, that I wanted to share with you. So Puskalavati was the capital of Gandhara kingdom from 6th to 1st century BC when it became an accommodated region capital and remained an important city until the 2nd century CE. And it reads are located on the outskirts of modern city of um, Khyber, Pakistan province and 30 km northwest of Peshawar district which is on the bank of Swat river near its junction with Kabul river around the side of Balahisar. Uh, let me show you the other side of the coins as you see um, the lion standing left uh, it has a swastika uh, on the upper side and elephant standing right again uh, pretty thick coins Okay, let's see the coin together. So the term Puskalabati is a combination of two Prakrit words Puskara or Puskala which means lotus and Vati or Vati which means uh, city. So Puskalabati means that the lotus city in Sanskrit and according to Ramayana it was named Puskalabati because it was founded by Puskala the son of Bharata. Uh, in the concluding portion of uh, Ramayana um, the descendants of Rama and his brothers are described as the founders of the great cities and the kingdoms which flourished in western India. Uh, Bharata, the brother of Rama had two sons, Taksha and Puskala. The former founded Takshashila or Takshila to the east of Indus and the later founded Puskala Vadi uh, to the west of the Indus and known to Alexander and the Greeks as uh, Pukalotis.
Okay, the ruins of Pushkal Navati consist of many stupas and the sites of two ancient cities. One was the Balahisar. So, Balahisar site in this area was first occupied in the 2nd millennium BC and later 6th century BC. Puskalavati became the capital of Akamite Gandhara. The location was first excavated in 1902 by the archaeologist John Marshall and Mr. Wheeler. Um, so they conducted some excavation there and identified various Akamanid remains. Later in the region historical chronology, King Ashoka built a stupa, there was, which was described by Zhuangzang when he visited 630 CE which to this day remains unidentified and undiscovered. And the other one was uh, Fusela or Saikandheri. The Bactrian Greeks built a new city, uh, Fusela or uh, currently known as Saikandheri, which lies in one kilometer northeast from Balahisar on the other side of Sambor River. Uh, the city was established in 2nd century BC until the 2nd century CE, occupied by uh, Parthian, Sakas, and Kushans. Um, the last reference to Puskalavati was recorded in the ancient of Chinese pilgrim Huan Sang in 7th century CE, and subsequently, after the region was conquered by Muhammad Ghazni in 1000 AD, the name Gandhara was not used anymore. And all probability of the following period is when Pushkalavati became known as Saikandheri, as Dheri means mountain or hill. Okay, uh, I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please um, ring the bell so that you get notified of uh, all the future videos that I publish and uh, please uh, leave your comments so that i know if you have liked the video and if you have any suggestions so thanks for watching take care